Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, this video just to inform you, look like uh, ABN, they will not, uh, or Trinity Channel, they will not uh, post uh, my TV show for two days ago. And as you see in the screen, uh, they have a show for yesterday and there's a show a week before, and yet my show is not there. And I believe strongly, as they explained to me before in the previous email, uh, they asked me, and they make it in a red line saying, we don't want you to debate the Muslims. So they are worried very much about debating the Muslims. And they said it clearly that they, they want the Muslims to come back to the TV. So this is their worry. It's not about really, their worry is not about who is going to give the true answer as much as how we can get the Muslim Abdul back. Now, it's my duty in the show to say the truth and to say that Muhammad is a false prophet with the proofs and evidence. I'm not there as a show guy, you know. I am there as a warrior and I am invited there for what I do, not for how I look like. However, even I don't show my face in the show, so why I'm there, you know. Uh, so this is why really I don't like the way they approach things and I don't think I'm going to do with them any kind of activities. Uh, the, the previous show I did, not this one, they edit more than 15 minutes from my show, took it off. Why? Because they said it was too much, I heard the feeding of Muslims. Uh, hurt, hurting the feeling of the Muslims is the loss of my worry. My worry is if I am being truthful or not. Uh, if you are worried about hurting the feeling of the Muslims, I advise you not to make any show to speak against Islam because whatever you do, you are hurting the feeling of the Muslims. If you say that Jesus is my God, you are hurting the feeling of Muslims, even if you don't speak about Muhammad. If you wear a cross, you are hurting the feeling of a Muslim. If you, anything you do, you are hurting the feeling of a Muslim. So are you going to change your life as a Christian and say, you know what, this is hurting the, what about forgetting about Jesus because we are hurting the feeling of Muslims and a believe in Muhammad and that will not make them hurt at all. Actually, they will love you. So I believe this is a very uh, funny uh, you know, way of doing things as a Christian station and for me I cannot accept it. Muhammad is a false prophet, you like it, you don't. And I am there to expose him. Um, if you don't want me to do it the way I can do it, then don't invite me. Don't invite me to a TV show and bring a Muslim in front of me and he start calling Paul names, saying we are corrupting people, the Bible, we are liars, we are criminals, all kinds of names. And then you want me to say to him, well, brother, Jesus love you. Uh, this is not what I do, and this is I will never do that. Now, two days already pass, even though I, many of you send them emails asking them for posts in the show, and still they are not doing it. I think, I believe strongly, they, if they post it, they will do editing for it. Uh, the Muslim, he run away live on the show because he got busted badly. Now, you know how I do things. This is not the first time I was there. I am not, I am a warrior, not a hugger. I don't give hugs. So you don't invite me unless you know for sure that there is a big fight will happen and one is going to win. And I am my duty there to be sure that the one who will win is my Lord. So why you invite me? Don't invite me. And then cry and say, you know, like you destroyed the Muslim. He made him cry. He might have attack. I don't know. Maybe this guy, he might die from heart attacks th that night. Same as what happened to Hisham al Husseini, the head of the Islamic Center of Michigan. He was going crazy. Not of my business, really. I don't care if the Muslim want to debate me again. This is why all of them they are running away from me. I am not going to tolerate their lies just because I want them to get back and talk to me. This is not really, this is a false excuse for me. So let us make it clear. We have to be truthful, and the truth will set you free. I'm going to say what I need to say, and I think I have no business no more with ABN. I'm done with them asking me to be nice to Muslims. Nice in what? I have no idea. I am nice. When I say the truth, I'm being very nice to you. How nicer it can be than sharing the truth and trying to save you from hellfire? How nicer it can be from telling a Muslim that his religion is going to take him nowhere. I'm doing my best. So, 
we need to be careful about what we ask for. All of you, you know that when I speak to anyone who is attacking the truth, it doesn't matter if he's a Jew, a rabbi, a Muslim, it doesn't matter. Even if someone he claimed to be a minister, even even like, you know, I, I exposed James White who go in ABN TV itself as a guest in their station. If I'm them, I will never invite him for a second. However, this is their business. Now, I always take the side of the truth. Not I'm not against a Muslim for he's a Muslim. As you see, I attack, you know, when, when it's time for to expose the Jew, I say expose the Jew. It's time to expose the one who claimed to be Christian. I expose the one who claimed to be Christian. And it's you know, when someone is talking as a Muslim, I ask. Uh, so it is not about it's a Muslim or not. We have to be truthful and it doesn't matter. You see, I don't take a side of James White because just because he claimed to be Christian. No, actually, I will attack him more for he's a liar and he claimed yet to be Christian. Same I do to Muhammad the Filthy. He is a false prophet and he is a liar. Therefore, we have to expose him. So you are a Jew, you are a Muslim, you are a person who claimed to be Christian, and you say a lie, I will expose your lies. This is what I do, and I am a Christian prince, and I approve this message.